Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Wednesday, the 5th of July, 2023. So just a quick whistle-stop tour of the markets as uh, they were all more or less uh, responding, or not responding, as the case may be, to the fact that yesterday was uh, independence in the US. So let's just have a quick look, see what we've got. So there's no headlines, and uh, we'll start off with what we've got news-wise today. We've got uh, FOMC meeting minutes at 7 p.m. tonight, so that will be interesting to see how the market uh, reacts to those. I didn't realise that they were on there. There's no press conference and there are no interest rate changes. Uh, The ADP, which is normally out on a Wednesday, is being put back until tomorrow. And then uh, on, let's just have a look at the rest of that. We've got unemployment claims, ISM and JOLTS uh, job openings. The JOLTS had an impact on the market uh, last time. So uh, keep an eye on that one. And then Friday, uh, the big one, non-farm payrolls uh, out at one uh, thirty. So the market will be glued for these numbers on uh, Friday. So we've got a bit more activity. Yesterday, obviously, was uh, pretty pretty dire uh, as far as the market is concerned. Saying that, they've still managed to pull out a few quid with the mid-morning drop in the DAX. And um, hopefully... Uh, we'll have the volatility return uh, this morning. It's still a bit quiet at the moment, but I'm sure as uh, the traders uh, come on stream in Europe and uh, in the UK and then on the in the US, we will see the activity uh, change completely. Let's kick off, have a look at the Dow, work our way through. Like I say, it's going to be a very quick uh, market alert just to see where we are and uh, where we're likely to go during today. So in the FTSE 100, uh, you can see yesterday, no, So in the Dow yesterday, really quiet. It was only electronic, so you can understand why. Down slightly overnight. Seems to run out of steam after Friday's market. uh, The blistering move to the upside and also to uh, this area of uh, resistance, uh, which is, if I drag the chart over, let me just do this, uh, will be uh, an 89% uh, retracement. So from there down to there, back up to there, stops at 89 fib uh, retracement area. Uh, these are the lines that I've drawn in for the downside if the market does come down we're just below the 5 bar moving average here but the 20 bar moving average ties in with the 38 there in the 30 minutes uh, well not even worth discussing or talking about market stuck in a range there no point uh, going into detail with regards to that apart from uh, where we are now we're below the DP and uh, the close as well uh, watch uh, yesterday's low um, it's a bit of a tough one to take any notice of any of the uh, pivots uh, to be honest with you uh, because uh, the narrowness of the range yesterday would be better tomorrow once we've got the volatility back up and running I mean, even half day trading on Monday you can see there was a lot more uh, impact there so we need to really not take too much notice of uh, these areas apart from the low and the high of yesterday because of the range the market will want to break out or one way or the other of this range in the german dax so we had uh, another down day we turned red we've got uh, also the momentum starting to cross over it has actually crossed over and we're below the five and the 20 bar moving average as well we've got that 50 there that ties in with the uh, 50 Fibonacci 50 EMA with 50 Fib and if we take that out then we've got these targets uh, on the downside there. Yesterday uh, we sold off to begin with and then we came back to the close so we had 100% uh, plus retracement and then uh, we moved to the lower. We bounced back uh, to the towards the low and then sideways and then when the US electronic session really kicked in the market did nothing overnight we're already below yesterday's uh, low there as well so watch uh, the S1 for the German DAX in the five minute chart uh, we started off with the futures moving lower they stopped at uh, Monday's low that we sail through a bit that's not unusual and then they brought the market back a bit of a sideways there before we had another blast to the upside uh, but interestingly here you can see that the momentum had run out on this upside so with that an 89 percent retracement market uh, down and coming back through that 200 ma and the close as well so a lot of uh, confluence there of different indicators for the move to the downside and then the market basically just traded uh, sideways there 
uh, which we can see overnight as well. So let me just reset the chart. This is where we are at the moment. We're still below the low. We might have a stab at uh, coming back to that uh, or down to uh, the S1 as well and just move the market down. But there's a more important level down here that you should be aware of, the 16,000 level, which is uh, this uh, red line here. So if we go through the S1, watch the 16,000. Because of late, they've liked to uh, kept this market uh, above 16,000. Uh, you can see when we've come below, they've moved the market back to the upside there. So yesterday, well, the first two days of this week, trades are 37750, 12.98 profit factor, uh, win loss is uh, 75 uh, 25 there at the moment uh, not too many trades uh, so far uh, only eight trades uh, this week and that's something i'm trying to do as well is just to reduce the number of trades and let them just go in the direction the market's going so that you can end up with a really good profit factor because as we saw in the money management videos uh, in the course the clear the the you know the objective here is to you know when the market breaks out and goes in your favor is to keep going with it and keep moving up the time frames and holding those positions so that when you do have a run where you get uh, four or five consecutive losses then you've got the buffer to take care of it and then do the same once again once uh, the market breaks okay let's move on have a look at the s p and the uk 100 s p 500 not really worth staying here it's uh, just very very sideways there 30 minute chart choppy FTSE 100 a uh, bit more activity down yesterday watch the 38 and if it's broken then uh, watch the other numbers to the downside there for the fibs 30 minute chart uh, we moved up uh, just above the low at the open and then we ran out of steam we pulled back came back and then uh, the market moving lower. The moment uh, we're below yesterday's low, we need to get back above the 20 bar, the 200 MA and 50 MA to get back to the DP. If not, watch the S1 and down sign targets in the daily chart, which we just looked at. So if we break the S1, then go to the daily chart and have a look at those numbers there just to see if the market's gonna move down towards them. In the currencies, not a lot to report in the GBP JPY either. Uh, 30 minute chart. So it did move up uh, yesterday, came off the S1 through the DP, pulled back to the DP, then back up to uh, the R1. Then we ran out of steam. Again, you can see that there's a, a divergence there. And then the market back down to the DP yesterday. Overnight choppy is the only way to describe uh, this at the moment came down to the dp we were oversold crossover markets moved up watch the high for uh, yesterday the pound uh, still sideways to higher dollar down on the overnight as uh, i record I'm trying to move up but we've got this 89 resistance at the market hit yesterday 30 minute chart again coming off the close and uh, the dp retracement there back to the 50 ema and moving high, you can see the volume coming in there and the momentum moving to the upside despite the fact that we had the pullback in this area. Overnight, uh, the market uh, coming off the psychological level there of uh, 127, that seems to be a favourite at the moment. Uh, moving uh, up uh, nicely, but we need to take out the DP and the resistance uh, to the left and any fib retracements that uh, can be drawn in on this uh, market as well, back up to uh, that uh, high. Dollar index uh, moving up over the last three days. That's all there is uh, to report there. It's having an impact on the metals. Let's have a look at those. Kicking off with uh, silver, managing to uh, hold last night uh, sideways overnight as well. Again, not a lot happening. Uh, you can see there yesterday, just uh, choppy, uh, but uh, moving up at uh, the moment, which is a surprise. Above the uh, DP at the moment, needs to take out uh, yesterday's high for silver, gold, also uh, starting to uh, move up off that 200 ma very important everybody would have been watching that uh, 200 ma see if the market could bounce off it it has and uh, there you can see yesterday a bit of a sneaky move to the upside trading up towards uh, monday's high not quite making it then uh, retracing back down to uh, the psychological level which is going to be 1925 uh, which is the blue line there, it's trading through it a bit, but we get the pickup from the buyers 
and then uh, moving to the upside now and above uh, the DP and uh, just trying to get above the close to try and attack uh, yesterday's high. Okay, that will do it uh, for this one. Like I say, it's uh, very, very quiet uh, yesterday. We'll see what happens uh, during today. And uh, with that, as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.